Hey, Scott from MyGrowthRings.com. Here, here, once again, is in my apartment. Sorry about this. I, I'm kind of getting back to my pre-pandemic schedule. Uh, I just got back from a week in Minneapolis doing some sales training. I'm a corporate trainer by day. And uh, I leave tomorrow morning for a convention in Houston for a week. And so it kind of throws me out of my, my routine. Also, my sister and her husband happen to be pouring concrete in their uh, bathroom <laughs> tonight. So that leaves us to uh, spend time here. By the way, if you're a channel member um, at the uh, uh, board member level or higher, uh, we will be doing a webinar tomorrow night, uh, a Zoom meeting. You can find all those details in the uh, community tab. So you might be wondering about that, uh, that, that clickbaity title I used here. Well, no, no, I'm, no, it's not clickbait. Um, so if you don't watch Steve Ramsey, who is um, uh, the woodworking for mere mortals guy, if you don't watch his channel, first off you should, but secondly, um, he has uh, a couple podcasts. Um, one is Chad and Steve have a podcast and the other one is, is kind of a brand new one that he's been hosting um, on his YouTube channel. So he does upload it as an actual podcast, but you can watch it in video form on, uh, on his channel. And I'm listening to the podcast the other day on the airplane, and I hear him, him talking with Roy Underhill. Now, I love Roy Underhill. I mean, just absolutely adore the man. Um, and what's weird about it is he, he has a, a shop and a an academy right here in North Carolina, and I haven't even gone over to drive past it yet, so shame on me. But anyway, he was interviewing Roy, and I was just really enjoying it. He's, he's such an interesting guy. And, uh, you know, he was, he was talking about our, our impact on this earth and talking about the advantage of hand tools and the fact that, you know, it, it reconnects us to earth. And, and, um, and he did make some really powerful observations that, that I share um, about, you know, you can really enhance your woodworking, your power tool woodworking by gaining experience with hand tools. You, you learn about the, the wood grain and, and yeah, you can kind of cheat a little bit of that with, with power tools. But if you understand wood from hand tools, it'll make your experience with power tools that much more effective. Anyway, so I'm listening along. It's about 50 minutes or so into the video. When all of a sudden, I hear this. Remember uh, Shopsmith? I, maybe there's, I don't know that there's still a, a, around. The uh, It was this combination machine, basically a lathe. My, but that's how a table I, saw. I learned woodworking on a Shopsmith. My dad had one when I was 12. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were, uh, and I've used, uh, they had one at a place uh, I, I was uh, teaching once, and so we used it. But I think it was them. They used to have an ad that would say shopsmith the skill is in the machine <laughs> the skill is in the machine oh. and they just like this is a great and i said who the hell came up with that you know what that's the thing the skill is it's not in you no it's in the machine <laughs> don't worry well i kind of want to develop skill you know <laughs> so i at first i hear you know i hear shopsmith i knew that steve grew up using shopsmith tools and i'm like oh this is great he's gonna talk about shopsmith and, uh, and, he, and he initially says that yes, he used it on a on a job that uh, in a job that he had before, and and then he drops that about uh, Shopsmith ad. And you know, if you're not familiar with Shopsmith ad, you might think, well, maybe he was thinking about some other ad. No, he wasn't. Um, I was just wrapping up my career with Shopsmith, but was relying upon my role in education at Shopsmith um, for my career when Shopsmith ran an infomercial. And I was thrilled in part about this infomercial because it actually had several people who I had taught. Now, I, I, I humbly say that because these were mostly guys who came to the Thursday night sawdust sessions at the factory showroom in Dayton, Ohio, and they knew most of them, far more than I did at that time. Uh, but so for them, it was sort of a club and an environment for them to share with the group. And uh, so while they were they were students of mine, <laughs> I was just as much students of theirs. And in fact, I used a clip from this when I talked about the, uh, the Bittner net because Bill Bittner's interview was featured in this. John Keller's interview was featured in this. So anyway, 
Um, I'm going to link to that entire video, and I'm going to link to the interview with Roy Underhill, and I would encourage you to watch them both. But uh, here's what Roy remembers almost 100% accurately. Well, thanks, Brian. I'm going to tell you right up front that I owe the quality of my work all to the Shopsmith Mark V. Anyone can get professional results because the expertise is built right in. Yeah, so um, you, know, you think, okay, you mentioned that one time pretty early on in the video and uh yeah the the expertise is in the equipment um you know <laughs> that's just bull i'm sorry i don't know who wrote that for mike young that's mike young speaking there um mike still does some things with shopsmith has his own youtube channel in fact and uh, this video was produced back in the late i want to say 1999 i i left shopsmith for the, the second time in 1999 so i think that was when that was produced but um yeah and then uh, and then he says this now here's where you'll really see what i mean when i say that the expertise is built right into the mark V. <laughs> okay one more time the mark V does all the measuring for you yeah so okay the the, the tool i gotta say when you have your Shopsmith equipment properly aligned, when you know how to set it up, it's very accurate. And there's a degree of accuracy that absolutely comes with the tool. But the knowledge does not come with the tool. Um, Roy, in his interview, even mentioned, you know, you, you could give a guy a Stradivarius. If he could now own a Stradivarius, it doesn't mean he knows how to play it. And uh, likewise, owning any power tool, let alone shopsmith tools, doesn't make you an expert, and the machine is not the expert by any means. So here's your homework. Here's what I'd love for you to do. First off, uh, go check out that infomercial and uh, pick from that <laughs> something that you think is uh, even more obnoxious than that comment. There's actually plenty of things in that that are, that are worth uh, kind of bristling over. And... Uh, also, jump over to that interview on uh, on uh, Steve Ramsey's channel. It's wonderful. And be sure to leave a comment. In fact, you might hunt down my comment and leave a comment on my comment. I think you'll see that one there. Um, <laughs> all right. Based on your comments down below, we'll see if we do a midweek video. If we do, I'll be doing it from the hotel. Um, also, if you are a channel member, again, at the board of directors level, I look forward to spending time with you tomorrow night and uh, make it a great week. No, it's in the machine. Don't worry. Well, I kind of want to develop skill.